Hey everyone, it's Sonia here with Fresh Approach Fitness, a wellness company. I know I've been talking and talking and talking about changing that name and just making some small subtle shifts, right? And maybe calling it a Fresh Approach. Um, I've been flirting with the idea and I haven't quite made it tangible yet. Or let's be honest, old habits are hard to die. So how are you today? Thank you for joining me, whether you are catching this as you go for a walk, as you're going for a drive, as you're cleaning the house, which is something I like to do. I know for those that are watching the video, I am moving around because all I see is a glare on my glasses through here and I can't quite see properly, but I'm going to sit still, I promise. Um, so I hope you are having a fantastic, a fantastic day today. And I want to thank you for showing up for yourself. Today's episode is a little bit different. And for anybody that's following along on my social media feeds, I do something called, I don't know what to call it. Okay, so I've been doing daily inspiration for years. Motivational Monday, Transformation Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Thankful Thursday, and Check-In Friday. And so if you haven't caught those, I encourage you to do so. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up today is it's Wednesday. So it's actually Wednesday, September 6th, and I know catching this is going to be um, a little bit weird because the episode prior to this, I actually recorded in the early spring. So anyways, today's live is actually September 6th, today's recording, and it's Wellness Wednesday, and, and why this is so important is on Wellness Wednesday today, I wanted to share with you about what it's like to escape the day-to-day. To have a break from it all, to recharge and refresh in a new in a new format that we might not be used to. Okay, I just had this glare, so I'm pointing to my face. It's one glare on my glasses that is driving me bananas, and we're just getting started. I don't know how many of you are listening, have glasses, and you have noticed this glare, but anybody that's close to my age, um, I'm sure you can appreciate what I'm talking about right now. So glare aside, are you ready to get started? We're talking about a weekend away and we're going to tap into the benefits of escaping the day to day. We're going to tap into a story. I'm going to start with a story with, with Tony and I and what happened a little bit this summer and how it connected us at a different level, how it brought us that much closer together not just from my experience, but from his experience too. And, and I didn't think about this, but I probably should have interviewed him for this. Um, and that would have been a really cool heart to heart. Um, Tony's my, my partner of five, six years now, not 56, but somewhere between five and six, we're heading into our sixth year together. And he is also an entrepreneur. And, and that's important to know. It's important to know the details. So we are a blended family of five. And Typically, for the last three or four years, with, with the whole chaos of the world, we were both working full-time jobs, plus we have our own businesses, plus we have the kids. Although they're older, they still demand our attention in a different way. And we have our grandson, Hudson, and we have my parents. Um, so just like you, we are everyday people doing the best that we can. And we took a time out this summer and spend some time together, some amazing quality time together. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So get yourself comfortable, join me in a nice cup of coffee. Actually, it's tea, it's chai tea. So it's tea tea um, with some honey. Cause for those that have been following along, I have made some healthy habit changes to my lifestyle. Um, completely changed my diet, including no sugar. So I've not had sugar. Okay, I've eliminated sugar in an extreme form where if it's in something, I either don't notice or it's very, very, very bottom of the ingredient list because it does trigger my neuralgia, which is something I've been fighting since May. So I have gone over and above in terms of taking care of myself. And so now my chai tea has um, honey in it, which is so much better for you than sugar. Honey and maple syrup, all the healthier alternatives. And again, if you're new to the show or if you want a quick little reminder, when I do talk about um, different things in my different episodes, you know, I like to include meals, movement, mindset, 
and your relationship with money. And the reason for that is we want to be building our lives as strong as we can. And the analogy I like to use is what if, okay, let's pause. Let's pause for a second. Take a deep breath. This is what I do to get grounded. Mm. Remind me to show you and tell you what this cup's about. Okay. Close your eyes for a second, except if you're driving. I'm going to ask you a question, and I'd like to know what comes in your heart of hearts for an answer. What is it that would take down an elephant? Think about that. I've heard many responses when I've asked that question, but at the end of the day, it takes an ultimately strong force or something by complete surprise to take down an elephant. So what if you built the foundation of your life like the legs of an elephant, meals, movement, mindset, and your relationship with money? That's why I bring those topics up every single time we have these chats. That's why I deliver the content the way I do. Not only am I being true and authentic to the person I am and the, the information I'm delivering, but it just makes sense. You're the one in charge of your life. You're the one in control of your life. And only you can tell how you're benefiting your life. So you ready? We're going to dive in today's episode, A Weekend Away. Now, imagine this. The two of you or whoever, it was Tony and I, we hopped into a car. We packed a cooler and some goodies in an overnight bag. And we took a road trip about four hours north of where we're living right now. And um, so we're still in Ontario. And we met up with his cousin. So there's a backstory there. But at the end of the day, we were invited to their cottage north of Peterborough. And it was a house. It was like a four season house. Beautiful. Waterfront. They had a bunch of water toys, um, paddle boards, um, skidoos, and boats. And we could have gone fishing. You just, all of these things, okay? It would have been, could have been, and maybe it was a weekend full of playing adventure. I'm not going to spoil the story. So we get in the car, and at first we we thought we would listen to, well, I thought we would listen to the Tony Robbins um, event, the four-day event that he had going on. And, and because we're both entrepreneurs, I thought we would listen to this, but it didn't take long before we shifted our mindset from work and stepped right into music. And, and we were just listening to some old rock music singing, which is releasing energy, it's working your vocal cords, it's just helping you reconnect. So we're singing, we're laughing, we're talking, we're really just having fun in the moment. And it's just the two of us, cares aside. So what you do need to know is we don't know his cousin that well. Um, they reunited after um, 35, 40 plus years. Okay, so she called up and, and then she invited us to the cottage so we, we really are connecting with this couple who we don't know well. And what we've met this summer and, you know, we're just learning to get to know them. So we arrive at our destination and it's gorgeous. The, the, the landscape, the gardening, the view, the scenery. And then they welcomed us with open, open arms. We got there, we look around. And the first thing we did was chose the bedroom that we were going to stay in. And honestly, we had a tour of the place. Again, breathtaking. So we're listening to music. We're doing the car ride. We are now settled into this super cozy environment. There's no stores around. We didn't leave the property for the three days we were there. We didn't need to run to the store to get anything. We didn't need to pick anything up. We didn't have a desire, the need, the interest to even go shopping or to explore the area. We literally stayed put. That's how beautiful this place was. And I forget the name of the lake offhand. It, it doesn't truly matter. Um, but it was a beautiful Ontario lake. And for those who are familiar with Ontario, we have hidden gems everywhere. We even have a hidden gem about 15 minutes from our house called Port Stanley, part of Lake Erie, where I grew up. Well, I grew up in St. Thomas, but Port Stanley is the lake I visited every single weekend as a kid, just because my grandparents lived there. So back to my story. Weekend away. So we get there, we're comfortable. We kind of stretch. We do some hugs and some kisses. We get we get in there and um, I noticed the paddle boards. So it wasn't long before I got changed and I decided to go paddle boarding. They're on the deck, they're having a drink. And honestly, 
just catching up, just talking about the drive, just relaxing. I don't even remember if we had a snack at this point or not, because I know we snacked a little bit. Oh, and even on the trip, we stopped off at this quaint little butter tart place um, and they had a gluten-free butter tart. This is before I realized that sugar was a trigger. So, um, and even being gluten-free is, is kind of new to me. So anyway, we kind of have an adventure on the way to our adventure. So at this point, I get changed. I'm all excited. I hop on the paddleboard and I probably paddleboard for closer to half an hour, 40 minutes. They're on the dock watching me and I had no idea but we didn't even look into the forecast of the weekend we were going to make the best of it so I get back I get changed we eat dinner and we literally sat around the dinner table for about an hour after we ate dinner and just chatted and caught up with each other so just to put things into perspective we probably got there around 2:33. And then, like I said, by the time I settled in paddleboard, we're talking four-ish, maybe 4.30. And then we had dinner. So I don't even remember what we had for dinner that night. I think it was chicken, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so then campfire. It's time for a campfire. Get changed, put your bug spray on, because if anybody's familiar with central Ontario, it is the black fly city and the mosquito heaven. So you cover yourself up with, with um, whatever it takes to keep those mosquitoes away. Now, I didn't last long in front of the fire. I was tired. I'm still nurturing my neuralgia. And, and I was okay with it. So I put myself to bed. Okay. And I read for a little bit and I journaled. I journaled about how amazing it felt just to be away and just to have experienced what we had experienced in such a short period of time. So I go to bed. I wake up. Saturday morning, I'm the second one to wake up. And, um, Oh, I'm speechless because the sun coming up on the lake and the reflection that it made literally took your breath away. Made myself a cup of tea, settled in and embraced the beauty. So now I need to say on Friday when we got there, or was it Saturday? I guess it was Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So on Saturday when we got there, I used my phone and I took a quick little video of the surroundings and the fact that I was about to go paddle boarding, okay? I put my phone down after that. I didn't even touch it. I took a picture Saturday morning when it came to taking um, that beautiful view in of the sun coming up on the lake with the fog. And oh, it was so breathtaking. There was a few people that were, um, oh, my mind, where'd it go? Water skiing that early in the morning. But it didn't even wake anybody. You could barely hear it. You just saw it. So and now this is a lake with houses on the other side. And you could see houses um, not quite all around it. So I guess it's just the other side. And in the middle, people were, were playing. So it's early in the morning. The other two sleepyheads make their way out of bed. And we sat down and I volunteered Tony to make a nice breakfast. And so he went all out and made his beautiful gourmet breakfast. And again, guys, we reconnected with the two, with the other couple sitting at the table and sat there for maybe an hour, hour and a half, just talking, just getting to know one another, just completely being in the moment. Okay. We moved back to the dock, which is we moved from the table, we cleaned up the breakfast, we made sure everything was cleaned up the night before, and we moved back to the dock. When, you know, it's about noon. And I remember Tony said this, and you have to understand, since I've been with Tony, he maybe has five drinks a year. And I'm not drinking right now. Um, it's not helping my healing. And it certainly isn't helping with my sugar, right? So I had no desire to drink at all. And um, so it was like noon, and he's like, I think it's time for a drink. He was that relaxed that he just wanted to sit there and soak in the moment. We moved to the dock where we were sitting the night before and the afternoon before didn't move all day with the exception to fill up our water, fill up our drink, go to the bathroom and that's it. Oh, and have lunch and then snack. So we, la we literally sat there, talked and connected. So I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but when you connect with other people, you are connecting with yourself. You know, the conversations were deep and wide. 
and there was never a dull moment. And, you know, not only does that speak to the level of companionship that we had, not just with the other couple, but with ourselves as a couple and with ourselves as an independent person. It was, it was the most beautiful experience I've ever had. Saturday, neither one of us touched our phone. We didn't check home. We didn't check work. And, and I remember when we packed, we weren't, so I guess this was Sunday. So Saturday, the only reason the phone came out was to take a little video when I got there, right? And then Sunday morning, I took a picture of the beautiful landscape. And then neither one of us touched our phones for the rest of the weekend. Just saying, that is huge in today's society. It wasn't capturing a moment or a clip. We didn't even take a photo of us together, of the four of us together. It just didn't happen. It didn't cross our minds. We were so in the moment, so connected. Um, and I know I keep on saying that, but the experience was unlike any. Tony's, um, Terry Lynn is her name and sorry terry lee i keep on making a mistake there it's terry lee and her older brother came so tony knows her older brother as well from when they were kids so they got to reconnect and we got to hear stories and stories of family and where people are today and what's changed and i wonder what happened when or or if or to and and although i wasn't a part of that story and neither was mike her companion it felt like we were just based on the way we were connecting and we were conversing and we were so inclusive. So we enjoy that time together on Sunday and getting to know um, her older brother on a different level and understanding what's going on with their family and their dynamics. And they're doing the same with us, getting to learn our family, our dynamics. Um, so we're preparing for campfire on Saturday night. I stay up a little bit longer than I did the night before, but I also know how important rest is, especially to this healing process. Sunday, we get up, we do our thing. I showered, got ready um, for the day. Tony and I each packed up to make sure things were ready. And um, we had a beautiful, beautiful breakfast. We sat there over the dining room table. I can't even tell you how long we sat there. And I remember Terry Lee and I were talking and it's almost as if the men weren't in the room. We were talking about, you know, wanting to get married and why that was so important with the people that we were with right now and how, you know, as young girls, we were promised this fairy tale from all of the books that we've read over and over again or were read to us and, and how we deserve this and it didn't come out saucy or as entitlement but you know we were sharing these backstories regardless of who was around and how many times do you catch yourself doing that sharing a story and not realizing that your partner who you love so much is right there and just caught an open part of you a part that you were willing to share to a girlfriend um or someone who had become a girlfriend very quickly, and yet you weren't necessarily expecting anybody else to pick it up, but they did. And it was so funny because Terry Lee high-fived me, and I fived her back, and Tony was like, hey, Mike. And he went to high-five, and he was like, don't leave me hanging, man, but Mike wasn't even at the table. That's how natural everything flew. Um, flew? That's how the natural connection we, we both had. So... There was a couple takeaways from that weekend, and we're going to talk about what it's like to have a weekend away and get away from the everyday and break this all down. Right now, I'm just sharing the highlights. I'm sharing the wins, the victories, and you'll notice I've repeated connection. I've repeated conversation quite a bit. There are no other words to describe that. The connection within myself, I truly feel that Tony and I are on a completely different level of our relationship because of this weekend away. Even our road trip home, we chatted, we conversed, we sang songs. We actually came back so refreshed that this is something we're going to be experiencing more often. 
I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what it looks like yet, but open to the experience of spreading our wings and discovering what's out there and how we can continuously get deeper with one another is the biggest takeaway here. Again, I got deeper within myself just by sitting there in peace, by absorbing, absorbing the beauty that surrounded me, the natural elements of life. There was no need for electronics. Um, I think I have such an itchy nose for anybody that's catching this live. I keep on scratching my nose and almost the whole time I've been doing this, this episode, I've been scratching my nose, but um, the beauty that surrounds us, we didn't need music. The TV was on in case, um, we needed to catch the weather or whatever, but even on the Monday morning when we were about to leave, it was raining and it was a crappy day weather-wise, but it did not dampen our spirits one bit. And I think that is one of the takeaways as well as nothing about this weekend dampened our spirits. Nothing could interfere with the inner growth that we had. And it taught me so much. So I'm going to be sharing with you through some of the notes that I've made in general and what it's like to take a weekend away and how good this is for your inner wellness, your inner peace, your vitality, really. It it refreshed me and recharged me to the point that I'd say it connected with my vitality. And, you know, we're in an economy today where sometimes finances will impede on something like this, but don't let it plan a weekend away plan to do something where you can connect with your partner if it's camping and and if it's a drive if it's a road trip prioritize this and, and I know if you're prioritizing food on the table versus a weekend away this might need to wait and we're, we're going to talk about we're going to get into this a little bit but obviously don't sacrifice the basic human needs for this weekend away but when the timing is right build it into your calendar. We're going to be building it into our calendar a lot more. And we're not planners in this element because we're we're doers, right? We're always focusing on what needs to be done, but this needs to be done more. You see, a romantic getaway can be as romantic as you want it to be. This probably didn't sound very romantic to some of you, but it was extremely romantic to both of us. Um, You know, it's a break from the for everyday norm it's an opportunity to disconnect from your everyday life and reconnect you with yourself and with your partner you know imagine just imagine for a second what it would feel like to have a day recharging at a spa you know discovering new shops and boutiques or golfing at scenic courses or going for adventures through different caves you know exploring hidden trails cherry orchards or even sampling wine at a local winery or a brewery you know a night visit like we had the campfire or perhaps even some fine dining restaurants um, or clubs in some different areas you know we're not club people but for some of you some of these things might might qualify you know or how about um being a tourist in your own town it's one of my favorite things to do So whether it's for honeymooners, for anniversary trips, or weekend jaunts, or a summer-long escape, it is an amazing opportunity for a retreat, whatever you make of it. And when I say a retreat, we're talking about an escape from the day-to-day. So nothing, my friends, keeps the spark flying like traveling together navigating new places with your significant other while spending quality one-on-one uninterrupted time. You know, it's a great way to deepen your bonds and to create lasting memories. And in our case, those lasting memories, we didn't even need to take a photograph. We have it here in our hearts. It's safe and sound and nothing will change that. Every couple deserves a special getaway to enjoy their heart's content, to enjoy to their heart's content and to enjoy their heart's content, whatever that looks like to you. You know, whether your idea is to cozy up in a rustic 
lodge somewhere or to be lazy on a tropical beach, hitting the slopes in the winter or sipping wine countryside. Again, it could be for Valentine's Day, an extended Labor Day weekend. It's always a good idea to escape through a romantic escape with your partner. Being alone together, that felt magical for me, 100% magical for me. And I know it felt magical for Tony too. You know, I'm sure some of you listening to this, or maybe if you're overhearing this, if your wife or your partner's listening to this, but being alone together and even taking such a short vacation might make you roll your eyes and make you wonder if it's worth the effort. And you're probably thinking, what could you possibly even do? Would it be worth it? Or is it just going to cause more stress without having the same benefits of a long vacation? But hear me out. There are so many benefits of a weekend getaway, whether it's a short weekend, two days, or a long weekend, whether you're newly together or you've been together for a long time. You know, and think of it, you know, when think of it from a different perspective, because you never know who's listening to this. You all might be in a different perspective. You know, I shared how we're a blended family and our kids are older, but there's many of you listening to this who have um, kids in school. Or maybe you're a stay-at-home parent. Or if you have university students, like, well, we don't really have university, but we have um, Nathan going to Petty in New Jersey out of country. Um, although it's high school, it's kind of similar because it's not the same as your day-to-day -day high school. You know, or if you're working the nine-to-five grind, a weekend getaway fits everyone's budget and their schedule. You know, so for those who have travelers in school, let me rephrase that. For travelers in school, a weekend getaway can be a well-deserved reward after a stressful week of homework, exams, and projects. Plus, taking a group of friends or going with a loved one can strengthen those bonds. We talked about our experience a little bit earlier. Um, and think of that. The same thing if you're a stay-at-home mom. Whether you're in school, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, you still have those projects. You still have, you know, it might not be exams or homework but it's housework and you know, those exams are the test of time of making it through week after week after week. You know what I'm saying? You know, for those stay-at-home parents, weekend getaways offer a respite from the daily routines and the demands that can drain your life and your energy. Plus, it's usually so much easier to find a sitter or to drop the kids off at grandma or grandpa's or to even get somebody to watch your pets if it's a shorter period of time. And for all of you, like most of you listening to this, if you're doing the nine to five shuffle and then you've got your own side gig on the side or something else going on, weekend getaways are perfect for getting out of town and having to dip only a little bit into the bank of your finances or your vacation that you might have. Still looking for a little bit more convincing? Don't worry. I'm here to break it down for you. All of the major benefits of a weekend getaway and why you should start planning your next one today. Put in your calendar. See if you take a step back and see yourself as the CFO, the chief financial officer of your life. We are all the CFOs of our own life. Well, what that means to you? Would that mean a little vacation every four months? Could you squeeze in a little getaway every four months and have something to look forward to? I bet you can. I know you can. What it means is that you're unplugging from daily stress. So if you're one of those people who likes to fuss about the daily pressures of life, and most of us aren't, but we find ourselves constantly in that loop about this and fretting about that, and even when it has nothing to do with us, we're caught up in that drama. This is a great escape, <laughs> a great escape. Getting someplace outside of your norm magically wipes away all of that daily stress. And instead of constantly thinking about your must-dos, your to-dos, your work tasks, your laundry loads, your homework assignments, you're thinking about your next adventure. And that's the new viewpoint that the two of us found is that all we thought about was nothing. 
nothing at all. Um, you know, so I could only imagine what it's like to plan that next one when you're thinking about what you'll eat next, where you'll go next, what you're going to explore next. And I would much rather think about that than anything else all the time. So unplugging from your daily stress is a form of self-care, which is why I thought it was so important to talk about this. You're not running away from your responsibility. You're recharging. You're refocusing. You know, another benefit is you're getting fresh air in a cleaner environment. So have you ever noticed that you tend to be happier and more peaceful when you escape to the beach, the countryside, the desert, the mountains? Do you know a big reason why this is? You know, it's clean air, especially for those of you that live in a big city like a metropolitan, like Toronto, New York, um, California, BC. You know, when you're in a different environment, there's typically less people. There's less cars. There's less factories, especially when you're outside of the major metropolitan areas of the world. So when was the last time you excelled, you exhaled, sorry, not excelled, exhaled all that you could and then took a really deep breath? When you filled your lungs to capacity, you know, the kind of deep breath that makes you smile as you exhale and sigh. Was it in a city or was it up in a mountain at the beach? along a back road in the countryside, just taking a drive. I'm fortunate. I go to the beach often. It's 15 minutes away. Yeah, I get to enjoy this often, and I do. So another benefit is to improve your focus and your productivity. You know, there's been some research and some studies done with the University of Illinois, and it concluded that people who take short mental breaks, such as a weekend getaway, leads to having a stress-free attitude. It improves your focus and productivity over time and the health benefits compound from there, such as lower blood pressure and lower stress hormones. So I didn't share this, but one of the people that we were with actually is VP of a factory. And he actually had to lay off 25 people when he got back from holidays, a whole line had to be shut down. And this wasn't an easy task to do. So having this mental break so he could recharge and refocus and realign what he needed to do, put things in a completely different perspective before he had to go and do the work. Yeah, we had some great talks about that because again, we were just showing up and being there for each other. So think about it this way. Not only is your mental health being reignited because of the lower blood pressure and the lower stress hormones. But when you use an electronic device for an extended period of time, what happens? The battery gets lower and lower until the device goes into low low power mode. I actually did post about this just yesterday about low battery mode, about charging into your phone. Eventually, shutting it down, if not properly recharged, is what you'll need to do is recharge altogether. Sorry, is shut down altogether if you can't just recharge it. Our bodies and our minds work the exact same way. And we truly don't recharge like this the way we need to on a regular basis. We propose that deactivating and reactivating your goals will allow you to stay focused. I said we, I meant me. Um, It's best to impose beef. I'm going to try this again. I'm tripping over my words. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a sidebar here for a second. My neuralgia sometimes kicks in when I get excited. So for some people it's stuttering. For me, I trip over my words and I notice this a little bit earlier. And I'm still adapting to my neuralgia. So I'm still adapting to some of the shifts that are happening with this, especially because the neuralgia, which means inflamed nerves, is in my head in two spots. So forgive me for being human here, tripping over my words. Let's try this again. It is best to impose brief breaks on yourself. And these brief mental breaks will actually help you stay focused on your tasks when you get back. 
another benefit, another huge benefit to taking these mini breaks. There are multiple modes of cheap transfer transportation. Uh, multiple modes of treat. Ah, I can't say it. Multiple modes of cheap transfer. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? This is actually going to be the name of one of my books. Multiple modes of cheap transportation. So depending on your location and your destination, driving your vehicle might be a cheaper option than purchasing an expensive plane ticket. And that's what we did. We just went on a road trip and we actually took my car. I think we filled up once to do a four hour trip each way. That's how good it is on gas. Um, so especially if you have in a vehicle like mine that is amazing on mileage and on gas, you have a wider radius of options for one single tank. And that that is fun. You know what you could do if you don't know where to start is just get an old fashioned map or print something out and <laughs> approach, um, what, what is it called? Where it's kind of like a, a pencil with a unit and you stick it down and you figure out a diameter, go somewhere within that diameter, figure out where you can travel a one tank of gas and do that diameter thing and pick a plot, pick a, <laughs> pick a spot. Hey guys, you know, I'm real. I'm human. You know, what happens if you don't even have a vehicle is you can take a shuttle. You can take a regional bus, like a Greyhound via train, you know, a train route that'll just take you destination somewhere. Um, not only will you be able to experience an alternative mode of transportation, but half of the joy, it's in the journey itself, the sights that you see along the way. But my favorite road trips. I've been doing road trips my whole life with my girls, even if it meant driving three hours south to visit my parents. Um, road trips, in my experience, are completely amazing. I like to think of road trips as one of the best ways to vacation, first of all. I don't like flying. So I'm not sure yet how I'm going to be a famous public speaker, speaking on stages all around the world when I don't like flying. But we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. You know, if I'm being completely honest, who doesn't love cruising down a highway or a country road with the windows open and the top down, I have a little bit of a um a roof at the top that opens up. Why am I lost for words? But it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Um, windows down, radio playing, and you're singing. Who cares if you can sing or not? You know, one of the benefits of a weekend getaway is the ability to go on a road trip with your loved ones, your family, your friends, build those friendships, pack those memories. So imagine taking a short weekend trip once a month, once a quarter for a year. Not only are you going to be able to check out 12 new places or, or even four new places that you probably wouldn't have done so otherwise, but you'll still be close to home even if you need to get back for whatever reason calls you home. Okay, another benefit to weekend warriors and road trips and little getaways, fewer days means less money spent. So this should be obvious, but generally speaking, the shorter the trip, the less money you'll have to shell out for accommodations, food, activities, transportation. Now, if you're the type of person who likes to go big or go home, this might not be the case for you, but everyone travels differently and everyone has a different style. So budget accordingly. Um, a weekend away means you won't be traveling too far, but bringing those flight prices down means you can spend those resources on other other things, a ski pass. Um, I remember we went to Collingwood a couple years ago for our anniversary and we went cross country skiing for the day and that was fun. It was just fun. Um, there is a TikTok on that. If you want to see it, it, it is so much fun. I'll see if I can find it included in the show notes. Let me just make a, a note on our ski trip TikTok. Um, I'm going to have to circle back in my memory bank here and see if I can remember and add it to the link here. Um, but it was funny. Tony hadn't been in skis in over 20 years and probably the same for me, but it was just beautiful. Okay. Sorry. Sidebar. This happens. Okay. So 
you might need to purchase a flight ticket if you want to go somewhere bigger, right? If you want to travel and try different adventures, it's going to cost you a little bit more money. It might not be as budget friendly and you might have to make some other provisions to accommodate. One recommendation I have, if you are going to fly, commit to a carry on only. <sighs> right? Raise your hands of how it yucky it feels to get off a flight and then having to just sit there and wait for your luggage to get unloaded. I love grabbing my carry-on and just walking out. I know I said I hate flying. It doesn't mean I don't fly. Now, I'm not sure what my new remedy will be when I fly. I mean, it used to be gravel, melatonin, and a couple shots of vodka in a Caesar. We'll have to see what my new remedy is next time I go, but I just don't like flying. Okay. But I do like having a carry-on where I can literally walk on with it and walk off with it and start right with my adventure. So one of the benefits of a weekend getaway is that you don't need to bring a lot of stuff with you. So you can use a carry-on service. You can just carry it on, bring it with you, walk off, start your adventure. You know, not only is it one bag and you get your personal item, but you usually get to keep them with you, right? On your flight. Sometimes they offer to put them away. Um, it's so convenient, so convenient. You have your items. When you deplane, your adventure begins. Oh, guys, I've missed. Obviously I've missed doing this. I get so excited doing these podcasts, these shows, these episodes and inspiring you. And this is, you know, when I get creatively inspired, I know I am in the right place. And having this weekend getaway enforced a lot of that for me. You know, there is another benefit to your weekend getaways and you get to prioritize your activities because since you're on a strict time limit for your getaway, you'd be surprised how efficient and organized your activities and your adventures become. You'll find yourself doing things that you are really looking forward to. You know, things that are on your bucket list Things that are things that are going to guarantee you the best that your location has to offer for you. Remember what I said when we went away to Peterborough to Tony's cousins? Um, we didn't leave the cottage at all, and that speaks volumes. So when you can pack in as many activities as you want into your schedule in a short period of time, you're expanding your experience, and your vacation seems to be stretched out a lot longer. And I've noticed that even on a weekend, a typical weekend, if you can schedule something for a Friday night, you have a lot more to extend from your weekend than you normally do. Just a little hint. And if your goal for your weekend getaway is to relax and recharge, you're probably going to maximize the amount of time you spend relaxing before you get sent back into reality. Another huge little benefit that is an actual huge benefit you don't need to use any kind of personal time off, or maybe you're just using a day to accommodate a long weekend, but you're not booking a big block of time, which is really cool for expanding those benefits and for those weekend getaways. Um, you can leave work on a Friday, come back Sunday. Like I said, maybe you take one extra day off. I would, but you can't always do that. So do what works for you, but you're not taking a week or two it's a day, maybe. If you have a boss that's flexible and workable, see if they'll let you front load your week so you can leave a little bit earlier on a Friday or maybe the opposite and come in a little bit later on a Monday. That way there, starting your weekend, get away a few hours earlier to maximize your time. Plus, for those ambitious entrepreneurs, for those climbing that corporate ladder or enjoying the thrill of the rat race, you won't feel guilty about missing work, especially if you're a commission salesperson. My girlfriend, my bestie, she took a week off work and worked the whole time, but on her own time, her own schedule. She got as much done as during a work week, but she felt like she was on vacation because she was able to have coffee with her mom. It's a slightly different topic, but let's talk about this for just a second. What if you can do that? I'm not suggesting taking a vacation and using it for work, but what would it look like? to work differently at your own pace and be more effective because you're able to relax and recharge throughout that period of time. You know, 
I used to take holidays with my kids where I would leave extra on a Friday when we would come back home. And it made a big difference, a world of difference, especially when you're cramming a lot in a short period of time. Um, as well, you know, another tip is to try to schedule that extra vacation around a holiday, like a three-day weekend, giving yourself that extra day. Oh, I talked about this. Organizing sitters or dog care is so much easier during this period of time as well. So hiccups. And you can always take your pets and your kids with you because a shorter period of time isn't going to add that much stress to your schedule. And there's a lot of places that are pet and kid friendly. It's up to you if you want them. I don't find vacations that exciting with my kids, but there was a couple of times where I kind of wish I brought them with me. Um, but there were a couple times where we did bring them and enjoyed every minute because guess what? I got to play with them because that's all there was on my agenda. I remember once going to Niagara Falls and we took them to Great Wolf Lodge and in the middle of the chaos and playing with them, I booked a massage. <laughs> I enjoyed my time too. All right. Here is another benefit to a little weekend getaway. It's easier to find travel companions. So maybe your partner's working or can't get the time off or it's just financially better for one of you to take the time and then alternate. You know, how many stories have we heard about people planning these great big, huge trips only to find people bail along the way? Longer trips means more planning, more time off, more money, more strategizing, and more risk for things not to fall into place. It also means it's harder to find people to join you. So if you don't want to go solo, not everybody wants to explore life solo. So for those longer adventures, it might be harder to find people to go with you and to stay committed. Whereas a weekend getaway, you know, they're so much easier for others to join in, to help plan, and usually it's a lot more accommodating for their budget. On the plus side, if you find a travel companion to go with for a weekend, you know, and you realize they're not compatible travelers, you're not stuck. You know, you're you're just there to explore together, but you can find different ways of splitting up. I remember my mom went to Hawaii and wasn't crazy about her roommates at the time, but the other people that she was with she got to know so much better at a different level. Um, and weekend getaways, it's so much better for you and your partner. But you, when you get an opportunity to travel with different people, you get to learn about them on a different level. And if you go with somebody different each time, you're having different adventures. So my friends, I hope you had some takeaway with this little adventure that we talked about today about our weekend away and how much it did for us. And I'm excited to see what it's going to do for you and how you're going to implement this. You know, if you're not sure where to start, pick a day, four months from today or the very next long weekend or start with literally start with the next the four seasons. So we're entering fall. What would it look like to take a road trip or a weekend away? in fall for you would that mean apple picking would that mean I don't know. after everything I just talked about I'm losing some thoughts but think of the next four seasons if you don't know where to start fall winter spring and then next summer what could you do on a weekend where would you like to explore what would be on your bucket list and what is the purpose for going is it to have an adventure and to explore or is it to escape the everyday and to relax to rest and to relax you know and keep in mind I am here to help keep you enjoying your best life every step of the way no matter what that looks like so let me know how I can support you with any of my coaching programs I will put all of the details in the show notes of what we talked about today and if you are looking to achieve clarity and confidence so you can travel alone so you can budget these adventures so you can realize that you are worth it, then definitely, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to you. To me, <laughs> to reach out to me. I was just seeing if you're paying attention there because it's time to take your life from unbearable to unstoppable so you can live your best life ever. 
I'm sending you so much love and joy, my friends. We will talk soon.